On Tuesday, 27 August, the media was awash with news of new visa policy by the United States. The U.S. decision is guided by a payback policy and has been aptly christened a reciprocity fee. This fee will be required by all Nigerian citizens worldwide, regardless of where they are located, provided they are applying for a non-immigrant visa to the United States. Isn't this too much? What we need to do is to uh, engage them to see how we can uh, appeal to them and know why they are doing what they are doing. This additional fee is coming after 18 months of consultations by the U.S. asking the government of Nigeria to change fees charged U.S. citizens for certain categories. However, this latest policy has left many in dilemma. Could this be the only reason? Most of the policies are put in place to protect those countries uh, from being infiltrated by bad acts. The policy, according to the Chairman House Committee on Foreign Affairs, will negatively affect Nigerians with legitimate business overseas. Now, I'm looking at the role of the National Assembly because this will definitely have consequences on Nigerians, especially those who have legitimate business to do in the U.S. We have students uh, who are schooling in America. We have other legitimate businessmen uh, that go to America from time to time to do their legitimate businesses. For those group of people, definitely it will affect them. And uh, as a government, we will see how we can engage the American uh, government. The reciprocity fee will take effect from August 29. In the meantime, Nigerians hope that the engagement promised by the government will yield positive results. From the nation's capital, Greece, Ike, STV News.